off the gate, I see her off the way, I seek her off the fullness in the future of the clay, these hands are rough and purpose to create, from a mind unconfined that is designed to calculate, intuiting of the essence, awareness of the presence of the whole beyond each individual part, master of the mind space, mason of the landscape, with intelligence she access from the heart. A spiritual woman is the greatest threat to the status quo. The fruit she will bear, the power she has access to. The world and all perception are simply too subjective. They cannot quench the yearning for the truth. The evidence magnetic, the source is alchemetic, and this knowledge must be given to the youth. So what seems to be a sacrifice to those outside the temple as they fail to overstand the path she choose is what she willingly releases as she actively connected with the forces that she learned how to use. A spiritual woman is the greatest threat to the status quo. As I was scanning around, look at that, and that's the thing about it here, that's why I think that you can find meteorites and stuff, it's because things just fall and lay where they did. What are you? A smaller piece or a piece off of it? I don't know. But that... Is an arrowhead and it is so razor sharp. That is as sharp as the day it was made. Look at that. Virtue. It's a very crystalline and broken, sharp and black and heavy. See how it stands out. And if you hiked around up here a lot, you would say, wow, that really stands out. But we do get a huge amount of black sand up here when you gold mine, so this could be the source. If it is a good iron source like that, I'd love to cook it down in a fire and do some experimenting. See if we can't make our own iron ingots. When I first found one, I found one, and it was so heavy and rusted, it was something like that, and I thought, wow, I'd found a meteor, or a meteorite. So, when I learned more about meteorites and stuff, um, it doesn't have a different color inside. So, these, you know, there's probably a 2% chance that I still believe that these would be meteorites, and there's a lot of them when I went back, relatively a lot. You can wander over an acre and collect this many in a day, so... Um, as opposed to something like this where it's extremely more heavy. These are also non-magnetic and um, I've, you know not even I have an extremely like 400 pound pole magnet and they do not attach to it whereas this is extremely magnetic and um, shows you know, being a molten state and fusion cracks where it cracked and then and then refused together. Mm -hmm.